What's going on guys, Jerry Couch here today with Pocket Radar and we're going to be taking you through the Pocket Radar app. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to look at the operational settings menu. So you're going to click on the three bars up in the top right corner here. Uh, it's going to take you to this list of items here. You're going to click on the operational settings menu and first thing we're going to take a look at is the recording mode. So on continuous mode, the Pocket Radar is going to constantly be taking in velocity readings and then on auto stop, you're going to have to manually stop and start the Pocket Radar to take in the reading. Next is the speed announcement. When this is on, it's going to read the velocity that the radar gun feeds to it uh, in the app. It's going to read that out loud through your phone. Uh, next is the auto, in, auto edit mode. This is really neat. So as soon as the gun gets a velocity reading, it's going to give you a little clipped video around that velocity reading, and it'll save that video automatically. So speed range. This is going to allow you to adjust the speed range for the activity that you're doing. So if we're doing exit velocities off a of tee and I only want to get the higher velocity readings or if I'm doing pull downs and I really only want to see higher velocity readings, I can adjust this to be a higher velocity range that the pocket radar will read. So the speed preview mode, if this is visible, it is going to allow you to turn the radar gun on and off without starting or stopping the uh, video feature itself. So this allows you to get velocity readings even without the video recording. Next up is the dual mode. It's going to allow you to have the big... Um, presentation of the velocity as well as record in the background of the app. Alright guys, now let's take a look at the labeling feature of the app. This is going to allow you to customize what you want the videos to be saved as uh, within the history part of the app. So to customize them, it's super easy. You just click right on the label itself, go to the edit list part. It's going to allow you to type in whatever you want to type in there. I'm going to put in bullpen here. Uh, so now I'm throwing a bullpen. I can label the video as bullpen video. Hit submit. X out of that. We're going to go to the other list now and same deal, edit list, type in whatever you want. I'm going to put in fastball. So now this video is going to be labeled in the history side of the app as bullpen fastball. Now I'm just going to go through. I'm just going to finish customizing the rest of my list here. All right, so now we can see all the finished list. Um, this is just what I have in here. By no means is this what you have to have, but uh, you can put in whatever you want. It'll make it really easy when we're looking at the history section here. So the history section of the app is the little clock up in the left. You're just going to click on that. Um, it'll take you into the history part of the Pocket Radar app. As you can see here, it uh, sorts out all your data by the day, the day that it was uh, recorded on. Uh, you can hit the plus button next to any date. It's going to take you through. It's going to show you the individual reading with the uh, video that corresponds to it. So uh, the really neat thing here is you can actually share all this data. I'm going to airdrop it to myself, but you could very easily just email it to yourself. Um, I'm going to show you guys what it looks like once you get it saved and downloaded to your laptop, and then also how to convert it and use it in an Excel file. All right, guys, so now that we have the file downloaded on our computers, you're going to open it up. I'm going to open mine with Microsoft Excel, and it's going to give us this big sheet with all the numbers and all the data in it. For me, this personally is a little bit overwhelming, so I'm going to organize this out, and I'm going to show you guys what it looks like once I have it all organized. All right, so you see here I have everything all sorted out now. I have a few different sheets. I have a hitting sheet with all the hitting numbers in it. I have a flat ground sheet. I have a sheet for bullpen information, and then I also have a sheet for pull-down data. So what this is going to allow you to do is it's going to allow you to uh, track your progress over the course of time. This is going to be a great tool for off-season training uh, as you set goals for yourself and look at your progress as you work towards the upcoming season. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching. That's all I have for you today. I hope this was helpful. As always, leave any questions or comments down below. I'll get to those as soon as I can. Catch you guys next time.